Hi, my babies. I went to um bargains. I got some unit kitchen stuff, and I wanted to show you. Anyone who's not in the UK, home bargains is a store where you can buy really affordable things. Well, I've not finished buying things yet as I'm going into my first year of uni in September 2023 in Manchester. Yeah, I'm really excited to show you what I got. Okay, so first of all, I got these two measuring jugs. This is a glass measuring jug and this is a plastic measuring jug. Apparently, for what I researched, I don't know if it's true, but if any of you do gravy, apparently, if you put it in the, in the plastic, it's going to melt. So that's why I got a, a glass one so it doesn't shatter or it doesn't break or anything like that. So let me know what you do when you put gravy in a measuring cup. Like, do you use a plastic one or do you use a glass one? This is, this is mostly for gravy and this is for, you know, flour or when you're baking and just measuring the ingredients. So this is the two types that I've got. Okay, so now let's move on to the cutlery section. First of all, I got some fork, I got some dessert spoons, and I've also got some teaspoons as well. Six teaspoons, I've got four dessert spoons. It never hurts to have more than a lot of cutlery, a lot of utensils, especially if you're sharing a meal with people in your flatmate and in the kitchen as well. It's always handy to have more than one set of cutlery the only thing that i i'm not showing that i forgot to get is the, the now i'm spreading the pack into the toast that's what i forgot but i'm gonna buy it next time next up i've got any some cooking utensils so first of all we've got a solid spoon a solid spoon it says it's heat resistant is it has a soft grip it has an innovative innovative handle it's dishwasher safe if you use a dishwasher i'm not sure if there's a dishwasher in uni i think you might have to check in your unit i'm not sure if my a condition as a dishwasher I'm not sure and it says integrated stool and it's heat resistant up to 210 degrees i think this is good for like soups and you know when you're and you're scooping scooping and then i've also got a spatula is this a spatula this is is this not a spatula i thought this was called a spatula i thought this was called a spatula but it says it's a slotted turner i'm guessing like when you're cooking pancakes for example and you want to flip it to the other side or also like when you're cooking steak or just in the pan and you want to flip to the other side yeah so it's a slotted turner i've got this one i've also got this i'm not sure what this is called <laughs> i it's a wooden spoon i think yeah it's a wooden spoon i've put around some cling film because it's made of wood i'm scared that there might be some splinters or something uh it just reminds me reminds me of the time where i got splinters stuck on my nail and then i lost one of my nails and it had to grow back <laughs> yeah well yeah i got this wooden spoon it's the utensils that <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh that was so painful you know what happened yeah this part here and um, that's like it's um it's wrapped around the utensils poked my hand like it poked my finger and it hurts so bad like this i forgot to show the clink film that i used to wrap the wooden spoon from before this is the cling film that i used microfiber dishcloth to dry up the dishes back of five looks like that it's microfiber power action microfiber dishcloth use the latest technology to produce a unique fabric containing millions of filaments help it to remove dirt dust and grease the cloth is very strong extremely absorbent and can be used on wet or dry to clean it's made of polyester and you can hand wash it on layer scrubby mummy i think it's called scrub mummy i've always wanted to try it 
I also want scrub daddy also have to buy the sponges like the regular sponges and the washing up liquid I am researching on which washing up liquid to get when I use washing up liquid my hands get so red I'm gonna insert a picture when I do find it but that's how red my hands get I'm not sure if I'm too sensitive um the washing up liquid if anyone has ever been through this let me know in the comments because my hands are literally so sensitive like literally so sensitive it would burn and it will become red and then i can't do anything with my hands until it comes down a bit so i just want to know if anyone has also gone through this I, I don't know what's happening now <laughs> Now let's move on to the chopping board. I really love this. The green color, it's for the vegetables. I hate germs and things getting contaminated. This is for cooked food, the gray one. The red one is for me. The blue one is for fish, as far as I know. Yeah. now let's move on to the containers that i've got in to store my foods and stuff and to for other things as well first of all i've got a microwave egg poacher i don't know how to poach an egg it says fill each compartment with a third of water cover with a little microwave on full power for 60 seconds to eat the water now crack an egg into each compartment and cover again with the lid microwave on full power for 45 seconds allow to stand 30 seconds before serving cooking time is based on the 750 watt microwave and etc i've has anyone ever used this before because i've seen some videos of people using it and it didn't turn out well no i'm scared it's gonna be like me as well so yeah um i'm really excited to try this out i don't know how how well it's gonna poach the egg but hopefully hopefully it's good dishwasher safe and microwave safe of course because it, it's microwavable it's a microwave measuring jug i'm not sure what this is actually for i'm not gonna say the wrong thing i just i just know i got it you know sometimes i get i see things and i buy them i don't even know what it's for i don't know i'm just curious to get it so i just end up buying it i don't know why i do that i got this microwave container set if maybe i can put some oatmeal and maybe i can put it in the fridge and i want to store it and then i want to warm it up and i can do that with this container i can do that with this container it looks like it looks like like that even when i put some chia seeds and some milk and then put it in the fridge and then i think it's a good container for that at least at least that's why i would use it for anyways because i want to put some leftovers in the fridge or if i maybe made a meal on that day i could store it in here i was also thinking of getting a glass containers as well in terms of storing the food oh it's five packs it looks like that also got some pots and pans my accommodation has ceramic hubs i believe sure my advice is if you get a pan make sure it's compatible with whatever stove or whatever um, hub they have in the accommodation just so you're not buying the wrong pots and pans and find out they they might not work so i would keep that in mind as well if you've got some things i want to buy for unit especially for the kitchen you ask your unit what to get um, especially if you don't know also there are some things that you shouldn't buy especially if the accommodation has it already for example i know that in my accommodation there's already a toaster a toaster and a microwave I, I can't remember what else something that i really want to get is an air fryer i don't really like ovens that much i've not got any from home bargains yet if you saw my vlog there's an air fryer Wait, there are other things that i definitely forgot to buy i've also made the uni shopping list as well so if you want to if you want to see it let me know in the comments down below if you've got any if you've got any comments about anything comments down below if you like the video don't forget to like thumbs up subscribe and thank you so much for watching my video and i'll see you at the next one bye it's not it's not here now let's move on to the cutlery section the cutlery set the cutlery set <laughs> okay so i got a 
<laughs> I realized I just changed my, my channel username. But yeah, 